Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Anime Talk. Yeah, we got the control, baby. I know y'all see us up in the building. What's up to the people watching in YouTube land, to the audio people? How are we doing? <laughs> this is episode 99. Chris, as you can see, we're in my, my cockpit. We're in my, my hub. I can I can lower audio. I can raise it. Is it picking me up? You can yeah, it's picking you up. Yeah, nothing in the headphones. You can't hit. Oh, well, that's probably because it's plugged in wrong. Oh, probably. Yep, I probably. Yeah, you probably got it. If you got it, probably plugged in the wrong spot. Well, I was hearing the music. But you are definitely, definitely plugged in, my brother. Yes, yeah, we so have you locked in and welcome in. This is hashtag Anime Talk hey. episode ninety nine. We're one episode away from a hundred. We'll have a a special episode for episode hundred. Yes, sir. We, we got, got do something. You. That's crazy. I can't believe we just hundred episodes in. Uh, just a hundred in. We're bi weekly, so you That's know true. we 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 do our thing. But shout out to everybody who listening. Let's give a sensational for you out there out there in and in, in land sensation. Yes, sir. One time for the one time. Let's also drop an air horn for the people out there listening because I, I get to use all my sound effects that I have in my radio station. So. One time for the one time. <laughs> but, Chris, how you doing this week, my brother? Man, I'm doing amazing, bro. I'm just like, I'm in a good headspace, and I'm watching some good anime. You feel me? Like, I'm like, I feel like I feel like it's the 90s again. You feel me? Like, I'm getting the anime ranked on me. Like, peak anime. It's a good time to be an anime fan. Today, we will be reviewing My Hero, Season 6, Episode 1 and 2, Mob Psycho, Season 3, Episode 1 and 2. We'll talk Bleach, that first episode, but... Bleach will be being reviewed by Jazz, myself, and Krista from now on on the off week. So next week you'll get a Bleach review, but the week after you will not. Uh, we also will be reviewing Blue Lock. Yes, sir. But that's on this show, huh? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, so that's on this show. And then uh, Spy Family will be in the off week as well. No, I don't know. Because are we doing... Are we doing... We're doing My Hero Mob Psycho or oh, Chainsaw Man. And Chainsaw Man. And Chainsaw Man. And next... Next oh, in the, week, in the week after is Blue Log, Spy Family, and Bleach. Okay. We can talk about them. We can yeah. address them real quick. Yeah. We can just no, talk we're about, we're first talk about You know, we always do first impressions of the new season. This 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 week, I'm just letting them know they're going to get everything. Yeah. But next week, that's when Blue Lock, Bleach, and Spy Family will be reviewed in the off weeks. And then on the main show, Chainsaw Man, My Hero, and Mob yeah. Psycho. And then and then by, and by next week, we'll have another episode of Spy Family, another episode of Blue Lock. Another yeah, episode. so next week when they listen in, they'll have, we'll have we'll episodes have better for the eyes. Yep, exactly. But I'm in love with Blue Lock. I'm in love with all these stuff going on. I'm excited to That's discuss. It's a great, great, great season. Yeah, I'm excited to discuss all this stuff. But we got stuff to get into before any of that. We got to jump into the news. And starting off, I'm starting off hot. Krista was, was throwing smoke. And I got to say, Krista... This is how I feel about my man's take that he about to do. My man is tell him, Doctor Umar. What, what, somebody been smoking and drinking. <laughs> tell him, Doctor Umar. What was the take? I, what is the take I had? I don't, even, so, I don't even recall. The Black Clover anime announced that we get a movie, Black Clover: Sword of the Wizard King, and it will debut worldwide on Netflix and open in theaters in Japan. On March 31st, 2023. Let me tell you why this is big. Oh, it's in theaters? It's going to be in theaters in Japan. Okay. Oh, in th but, okay. it, but it simul drops the same day in Japan, in America, in Netflix. That's insane. So, so wait, it's going to Japan, the Netflix theaters, too? And yeah, theaters? Yeah, no, no, no. Japan is going to theaters. And uh, we're getting Everywhere Netflix. else is going Netflix. That's insane. And I think that's huge because look at One Piece Red. I understand that has to be in theaters. But yeah, that's one piece. But for things like Black Clover, for example, we want a demon. We want more Demon Slayer movies. That's a possibility. We want Promise. We want uh, not Promise Neverland, but we would have a long time ago. I'm trying to think of Are other Promise Neverland movie. Probably not. Not since the show flopped. <laughs> you know, I thought they said something about we getting Goldie Pond. That's a wishful thing. <laughs> but see, that's something that could be on Netflix. And I think that this is a big move for all the shonen that aren't. One Piece, My Hero, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen that gets theater releases. If you're like a kaiju number eight that's up and coming, uh, 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 Undead Unluck. I really think Undead Unluck could have movies on Netflix. And I think that that'll be a way to where people are always trapping out the bandwidth. Well, why don't you sell your American rights to Netflix, to Amazon, to Hulu? Yeah. Or, or like you said, a Crunchyroll. 
and have them drop it in America the same day Japan gets it. Yeah, I know uh, Mappa. Mappa has said he, they want to do all Fujimoto's works, all his one shots. You could get they, that as a movie on, and, on and drop it to Netflix. And that's a perfect example. The and they wouldn't put that shit in the theater. Exactly. I would love to see it, though. At, at or or if Chainsaw Man gets a movie, I don't know if that's a theater. They better thing. not Demon Slayer my shit. Don't Demon Slayer my shit, please. Oh, they, but they might do it like how uh, Black Clover's telling a side story. Yeah, I'm about to say, don't JJK they, they, they Demon Slayer it. my shit, man. But see, even JJK side story. That's Yuta. It's chapter zero. So you say JJK, don't tell don't tell part two movie form. I get what you're saying. It's 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 manga canon. Yeah, for you sure. But I, this might be too. And that's the cool are thing. Filler. But see, I, see, you can get some ca- I'm I'm for certain ca- canon aspects like, of movies. This is the thing, because the one people movie's kinda canon. Some but of it is it off the manga? Is it based off the manga though? Yes. Oh oh the oh the toilet, like legit. So you can read the movie and the manga already. Oh no 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 no. But no, that, no, that's no, what no, I'm no, saying. Like what I'm saying. Information is canon. But that's like uh uh uh. You, what you was the last one people movie? Stampede. Oh, none of that. No, oh, it, Black Tail was canon. Stampede wasn't necessarily canon, but it tiptoed. It, but in see, One Piece Red is more so with this. But with this Black Clover thing, it's telling the story of the first Wizard King. That's canon. Tabata worked on this, so like I but think what, that's what, what I'm saying is, is it like manga canon? You feel it me? will be like it, it will like it will like it won't the the sto- the movie itself won't be in the manga but the this it is the, this is the story of the first wizard king but and that's that's all I'm saying and that's, that's the kind and of that's, movies and, I want. and that's what and with my hero for example we always talk about getting the all might movie the mm-hmm. the end of a movie that's how you do it yeah I feel like that would be really good like we could see my uh my my hero it utilize that working. huge yeah I can definitely if see that. if it's not a Deku movie or something that needs to be in theaters. Okay, vigilantes. We always talk about getting the vigilantes, vigilantes movies are not gonna hit theaters. That'll be perfect. Drop for it Netflix. up, drop it for Netflix, and Country let's get it the same day. Is Japan? So shout out to Black Clover. Black Clover to me has booted up so much in my love for it. Black Clover, legitimately. If we talking new gen, my hero, y'all know, is number one for me. Number two, Kaiju number eight has made a big impression. Number three used to be JJK. I think number three is Black whoa, Clover. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. You said this earlier. Mm-hmm. You said it was in your top three, but over JJK? Yeah, Black, I love Black Clover. JJK is number four. Black I, Clover? Or actually, no, if we're being real, if we're being real, real. Black Clover? If we're being real, real, because this is finished, Fire Force is really number two. Then okay. Kaiju number eight. Then Black yeah, Clover. Yeah, you, we talking on going. But, but on going, Black Clover is number, number three for me. JJK is number four. That's Shit. insane. That's I a love, wild statement. You make me, you make me want to go catch up on Black I Clover now. I love There's Black no Clover. Way. The anime, I don't, I don't recommend the anime. I tell people, read it. The I anime been dead. To, the way Tabata draws it is beautiful. You saw the Asta art. You was like, wait, what? Asta, what does Asta look like yeah, right now? I will say Asta has had some compelling... 2021 uh, or 2022 both volume, both volume covers. Look, I saw that shit. I was like, damn. All right, Black Clover. looking good. And like, I'm not saying JJK is a better story in my opinion. Yeah. But I go to Black Clover for a decent story, but amazing fights, amazing okay. art. That's what Black Clover is for me. Black Clover is my meathead Dragon Ball Z story. It's Dragon Ball Z style story, but told. Kind of like Naruto. I need to get on this shit because it's 340 chapters. I'm like, damn, that's a. When I looked at it, I'm and like, damn, this shit's very, running. There's very good, compelling characters, and unlike my hero, unlike uh, Demon Slayer, where they don't focus on all the side characters, JJK, Black Clover side characters get treated amazing. Like, yeah. amazingly. I don't want to see the, the guys in love with his sister as the side character. All right, look, 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 look. I even, watched even, Noel. Even me and Jazz, when we reviewed it, said that guy got to be in jail. But everybody oh, else. Jail. jail. Shout jail. out to my girl, Mar- Marileona. Shout out to Fugelion. Shout out to the gang, man. I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm peep Black Clover and see what's happening. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Black Clover's up there, but the movie... March 31st, 2023, we will be reviewing it. <laughs> excited for that. Something I know you're excited for. Shoeisha has announced that Yoshiro Togashi's Hunter Hunter manga will return after nearly a four-year hiatus. People said it wasn't yeah, happening. Air horns, drop some air horns if you got air horns. People said it wasn't possible. Drop some People seats. said it wasn't happening. We need that, man. Tell them. The streets need 
It is back, baby. It will it, it will drop on Shonen Jump October 24th, and we will get it on October 23rd, a simul release, Viz said. So every time when it drops in Japan, we getting it, baby. You love to see it. You love to see it. Man, I, I really do love to see it, bro. I made a, a song, and it's not even a real song. It's like a little interlude called New Tagashi Tweet. So I can have an alarm tone for whenever I get some new Tagashi notifications. Like I got the notification, you know how YouTube be like, like, subscribe, put the notification bell. I get personal texts when it's man Tagashi tweets. And it just be little bullshit panels with like little trash, little scribbles in the corner. And but bro, he been getting like it used to be one scribble, you feel me? Two nice. He dropping stacks on the timeline. He, got, he like, boom, I got three pages for y'all today. I'm like, damn, this man cooked up three chapters? He He's ready. working. He ready. He's working out here. You look, feel me? Look, October 23rd, we will be reviewing whatever episode that aligns with. We're going to be reviewing the first chapter just to see what it's like. Yeah, we got to see what's up because Hunter Hunter is that. The Hunter Dark Hunter Hunter is that, bro. Is, we're finally in the Dark Hunter where people have been clamoring for forever. I got to go reread did the you, whole stuff. Did you see the volume cover? No, I was waiting. I'm waiting to watch. I'm oh, waiting to see. It's called Volume Something. But like, there's new characters I've never seen before. All from the Dark Continent arc. See, did you read past the Ahsoka Krolo fight? No, I, I read up until oh. the Ahsoka Krolo okay, fight. Well, see, <laughs> the Ahsoka Krolo that's fight. the characters from that arc. It's gonna be a mainly a Karapika. Like, I think going to kill her in it, but it's mainly a Karapika. Like, we're going to this Dark Continent. Okay. Type shit. It's crazy. So October twenty third. Hunter Hunter is back, and we are super excited. I'm super, super excited, man. Next up, did you see the Naruto re-release? Yeah. <laughs> How did you feel about that? You mean the clips? The, the, well, they, they redid, for the 20th anniversary, they redid certain fights. And yeah, certain, certain moments. clips. Like, yeah. certain clips. I, that they, did, very... they did the full fight of the, the first one. Yeah. Land of the Waves. And people were saying, can they do all of Naruto like that? Would you want to see Naruto redone? Not in its entirety. That's what people are saying. Even if you cut the filler, I don't think I'd want to see it in its entirety again. Uh... I wouldn't watch it. I'm being honest. I probably wouldn't watch it, but like, I'm not going to lie. Give it me looks highlights. Great, like, if you give me Naruto episode... Okay, so imagine... Remember Star Wars? Mm -hmm. When they did the um the Star Wars anime, different different studios did different... Yeah. Give me something like that to where you give me a season of iconic Naruto moments in a 24... Different art, different art style. 22 minute... You, that, you not getting that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, but that's what I want to see. I would want to see the yeah. same thing I, because to me, Naruto still holds up. Yeah. Like I could re if I if, if all that I'm gonna rewatch Naruto. But the, I will say that that updated Bleach Demon Slayer JJK animation on Naruto looks nuts. <laughs> like yeah, it, it does it look amazing. great. It looks great. But that's that's the thing. Even if you drop little clips, don't give me full episodes. But like it's still the anniversary year, right? Yeah. I love seeing that for the anniversary year. I love that they're doing something and that it's that. But like maybe like sauce the rest of the year out. Like every once in a while, like <laughs> drop some shit on YouTube. Like be like, hey, here's a fight that y'all like. Just like some highlight moments. Yeah. You feel me? Because I love to see it like that. But like. If they gonna go full, but they, they were go. saying they were saying fans like fans was like we want the series, and that's back. my thing. If, if, like, the, if the fans it. are doing, if the fans are asking for something, just give us something unique. Fight clips, yeah, yeah, give us something unique. Boruto's still airing. Y'all gonna watch that? And give us something <laughs> better than Boruto because that's the thing. If they start putting budget into that, more less board, uh, less budget's going into Boruto and Boruto. <laughs> I don't know if it needs it or if it don't need no more. Like, I don't know what's going on with the Boruto <laughs> anime right now. Boruto is... I, that, that's something I don't read. The manga looks crazy. Like, nah, they, nah, my boy people, from uh, My boy from Boruto Bor looked like fucking uh, Okarun from Dandadon with the white hair and the, <laughs> the black coat, the transformation. Talking about Mitsuki? He looked cold. Like, Man, he looked, it just don't look Boruto, like Naruto. I look, me. I'm just saying that. I'm not, I'm not an elitist fan. It just don't look like Naruto. You know I read most of everything that Shonen Jump app. I've at least tried. I can't get behind Boruto. I've tried twice, and I'm not trying again. Like I, I've tried just, twice because Naruto was my first love. Like, I love Naruto so much. Naruto, I, like I, I used to be Naruto over One Piece, and I used to be one of those people that would argue it day in and day out of like Naruto's that one, and just Boruto does not live up to what Naruto was for me. And we on that One Piece wave, baby. <laughs> new you is looking at old you, like new you is. I mean, old you is looking at new you. Like if you went back into the past, oh, with, like that would, One Piece shirt on, would, new you would be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Why you have a Naruto shirt on?" Hey, bro, I hate to tell you, One Piece is looking better than Naruto. Old you would be like, "Get, get out of my house." He would hate. He would. You can't hate, be me. <laughs> like he would hate it. But I would say this: Naruto succeeds in places where One Piece doesn't. But you know. Just as you grow, that One Piece story is just incredible. It just, it just is. Not not to poop on Naruto, but One Piece is the best of the big three for a reason. And One Piece has kept going after Naruto mm -hmm. ended. And Naruto is still going as far as Boruto. And it's just not... And we've seen it fall from its glory. Yep. Like, Nar One Piece is... Like, 
watching One Piece like as a new fan, like if you start One Piece today, people are like, uh, oh, I'm not watching nothing that gets good episode 900. Like, no, <laughs> it goes to episode 900, 900 but yeah. it goes hard until episode 900 That's and fact. continues to build momentum. Like, I, I would be lying if I said Alabaster wasn't cold when I first got to it. Oh, yeah. That those, those arcs only get overshadowed by the greatness that precedes it. Like, shit, after fucking Water 7... Is amazing yeah. peak shit, but you can't tell me what a seven wasn't that shit oh, when no. you first got Eni's, to it. Any's lobby is like still. If you ask me, the best One Piece arcs it is between Dress Rosa and Any's lobby for me. Like those are the two, and I count Any's lobby Water Seven as one. Yeah, but same. Water Seven, Any's lobby, or Dress Rosa. I'm not even saying Wano. Like I'm saying is between those two, and that that sh- shows a lot. But uh, yeah, Naruto. Hopefully, y'all E fans get it. But you know, I think this was good enough. I next, like it. yeah. Next up, we got High Dive announced in that on Monday for fans of Dororo. If you didn't get to watch it on Amazon Prime, the sub and the dub will be on the streaming service starting January twenty three, January twenty twenty three. It's a part of a big push that High Dive is doing to have things that Crunchyroll and Hulu doesn't have with dub and sub. I was about to say that. That's the main thing they don't. That's the main thing nobody has is simulcast Look, dub. The big O is on high dive, and every day I miss the big O. I consider getting me a high dive account, but it's too expensive. Like I'm not paying. How much is it? Hold on, I'm, 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 I'm gonna pull up the high dive thing. I think it's like ten bucks, and I'm not paying ten bucks for high dive. I'm just not. <laughs> like it's not worth it. For it sounds like a sweet just, deal to y'all. Just for the big O. We're not oh no, never mind. They dropped it low. High dive. If you want to sponsor us, we'll do that. Four ninety nine. I could pay that. That's not bad. I could pay that, and they have they all the have tiers. Them. They probably got tiers to it, maybe. Mm, no, no, no. It's it's all of them. Okay, bad. That's a bad. It's all of it. That's they, bad. And you get to explore. I gotta look at the selection. Like, watch. Let me show. I, I'm. We're we're looking right now live on air on high dive. Like, I don't know what this Pantheon thing is, but it looks interesting. It sounds familiar. It, it looks pretty interesting. I've and heard then, that before. And then when you look at the dubs, they have a lot of dubs, man. But that's the, that's what high dive is for. Yeah. Like they're good with the dubs. They're like. We're the dub company. We don't shit on subs. We got sub. We got sub and dub. Like they got, they got that's big, big thing. They got big O, and that's. I don't exclusive. think they have anything that's not. They have dub. uh, they have oh, pretty much anything you would you would Demon uh, City Shinjoku. What was you about to say Demon Slayer? I'm about to uh, say, damn, we going up. They got Fate Fate Stay Night. Now they got most of the classics. Food Wars, Grim War oh, Zero. Food Wars? Okay. Yeah, they got they got a lot of interesting dubs on High Dive. It might be worth it. But that's 99. the thing. They're the company that, you know, they got the sub, but they come with the dub. Mm-hmm. And I like dub. Like, I was and talking to uh, some of my homies. They want to see dub for all the new shit. Like, on, on fucking, like, the, the, I think the the big companies are missing out on a bag not simul-dubbing. Because, like, when I was looking up Searching Chainsaw Man in the Viz comments, all I was seeing was people like, where's the dub? Where's the dub? I thought the dub was coming out they same probably, day. They probably are, but, like... Same thing with Bleach, too. They were like, why are we not getting a Bleach dub announcement? Because so many people watch Bleach growing up fell in love with Ichigo's true. English voice. But, out. see, that's... That's... These... I think for American dub fans, I think we've gotten to the point to where sub fans outweigh them to where it's like, oh, we know y'all are going to wait because y'all dub fans have waited for everything. Bro, like you, you we're we gonna we going we gonna we gonna make y'all wait and we're gonna get extra money. We're gonna get all the money from the Japanese and the Western sub mm-hmm. fans. And then honestly, dub fans are like y'all it's second tier. Like they don't they don't, they don't really care. Uh, I'm not saying they don't care. That's rude because there's a whole industry and 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 like voice actors who take that seriously and who are great. But to me, dub is a second priority to English these to yeah distributors exactly. But man, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Dub, dub is like it's back in its bag. You feel me? Dub used to be ass, but now it's hitting again. You feel me? I'm not gonna say it's fully hitting, but I'll say they have some good dubs out there. They, they have, have some good. They have some good bro, dubs. Guess where One Piece is in the dub right now? Uh, isn't it on Dress Rosa? It's on Katakuri Fight. Oh, it's in Whole Cake. Whole Cake. I will. I will never ever. Ever the dub only watch One okay. Piece dub ever? It ain't bad. I will like to me One Piece dub. The same reason why I don't like my hero dub because of Deku. I can't do it. Luffy is like the way when Luffy gets serious in the sub. That's a moment, bro. But when Luffy gets serious in the, I don't take him serious in the dub. But see, it's, it's one of them things too. And I can't stand Zor- Zoro's Chris Savage. Like I love Chris Savage, I love Vegeta, but that's not Zoro. It's like we we grew up in an era where we watched, uh, you know, Yu Yu Hakusho, Dragon Ball, um, 
Naruto, all those up. Uh, Cowboy Bebop. See, I didn't even watch. Let me tell you dub. about Naruto. I watched the dub, but the moment I found out there was sub, I switched. You got me. You, you, I swear. You I, about. I swear on everything. In real life. In real life, the moment I found out that there was, you could watch Naruto. So you have more attachment to the Naruto dub characters no. like you do the Dragon Ball. Ones. Nope. The only shows I can tell you I have legitimate attachment to dub wise. Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho is the one I have the most attachment to. Yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho, Yu Yu Hakusho Bebop, Bebop, Cowboy Bebop, Trigon. Those Kyle, are the those Kyle are the Bebop and Yu Yu are the ones people go to. And, when they and, talk and, about and, and, and then I'd say Trigon third for me with Dragon Ball Z tied in that third spot. But those see, are the ones I, I, have, I have. I have more. I have more of a love for the Full Metal Alchemist dub. Than the Naruto dub. But man, I know a lot of people love the Bleach dub, but there's new That's people, just Johnny Young Bosch. There's people who grew up on the Bleach dub yeah. who like, Bleach dub, I, I gotta watch it dub. Johnny Young Bosch. There's people yeah. who like started certain shit from like 2013. Yeah, like, if they have. Like Titan dub, shit like that. You feel me? <laughs> Gross. Maybe I'm just like Titan dub. You feel me? I'm, I'm going, y'all. <laughs> I, I, that's all I'm saying though I'm saying that like the, the people who grew up with the dub have more of an attachment because I know that there's people like I've seen people on the timeline shit on the Yu Yu Hakusho dub see like, now that's crazy you shit on the Yu Yu Hakusho dub means that you're just a, a kid that's, that you is just, crazy you hadn't grown up with Yu Yu Hakusho because the Yu Yu Hakusho see? sub sucks like that's what it's that's one that good. I can say a sub sucks like not the dragon sub sucks the, you know Dragon Ball sub is different it's the, I, I see it's different. I can't watch Z dubbed. I can't watch Z I can subbed. I watch super subbed. I love super dub, super subbed. I, I, I love super subbed. I'm being honest. I like super dubbed, but I love Z dubbed, but I can't That's like Z That's what I was about sub. to say. I like Z's dub. I only can watch Z dub. Dragon Ball, GT, I can go either way, but G, I love the Z, dub. no, I can't watch Dragon Ball subbed either. I got to watch Dragon Ball Z and GT dubbed. Super? I can't watch it dubbed. I, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I, just because I got so attached to watching Super yeah. through that version and I feel like Super the sub fits Goku more than Sean Schimmel and what they're doing because I feel like Sean Schimmel's character ended with GT. I, like I, I got a, I got an ending with those characters. I think with uh, yeah, you're right. Cuz like GT if you watch GT dubbed all the way through, like Goku left, he said goodbye. Vegeta it was old like we said goodbye to those voices. So I w- so when Super came it was like okay, let me give the sub version a try. This is a different form of character for me. Yeah, I think that's definitely it had a lot to do with it. For me, the tone shift between Z and GT and Super, Super was more like a comedy. So hearing Goku yeah. with his Japanese voice actor, who I love and adore, that, that was like she she gave the best performance it, it of like Goofy Goku. Yeah. And now I can't take Goofy like I can't take, take Sean Shim- Goofy yeah, Goku. Because no. Sean Shim was great. Go- he was He's great. He was great with, Go- with Goofy Goku too. Like even in Battle of Gods, but his where he shines it's, is it's, the series. It's GT man. It's, it's GT and Z. Because Z, they took out a lot of those com- comedic aspects that mm-hmm. they brought back in Super. And Z, they had a lot of ah, and that's, and that's ah, like a lot of charge ups. And like I feel like the sub charge ups, even as a kid, like I, I don't know if you I remember, don't even I never even saw sub charge ups. I, I come up, I come from like dial up. Whenever I remember, whenever we you first get in the internet, so I'm like looking up Dragon Ball shit on dial up, waiting like in the half hour for a video to load. But you would download little clips, and it would be like Windows Media Player, the black screen, and you would pull it up. And it would have like a little fucking 30 second clip of like Japanese. See, I never even saw the, the, DVDs, time, the Dragon Ball Z dub. This so, is, this is before me. GT drops. Because okay. GT drops when I'm in middle school. Like I think GT drops on Toonami or Adult Swim or something. Because it's late. Like I remember whenever Dragon Ball Z was hot, we're watching Boo. Matter of fact, we're watching Cell and Freezer and yeah. shit. But if you look on the internet, you could see they, yeah. Super Saiyan 4. Yep. You could see Goten. And you're like, oh my God, is this... Who is this? It looks like, is this Goku Jr.? We're all, they're making shit up because we don't know. It wasn't like the internet. We wasn't getting like, we wasn't getting uh, light speed, like nice. information even. We were just getting pictures. So I'm just, I remember that era of just, you know, how bad that shit was. But I remember listening to the, the Japanese original sub for go, uh, like the charge up, the iconic mm-hmm. shit, like Super Saiyan 3. I'm like, damn, it's so, no, it's, the same. it's high pitch. Like, like, you know how in America it's like, ah, yeah, no, it's, ah, it's, it's the, ah, it sounds like painful to your no, ears can't, for like 30 minutes. But that's why Super worked because they cut that out. They don't even charge up at Super. Literally, they just, boom, yeah. just thank God. And they just, <laughs> I don't know how they just be screaming and it works. It works for Super. So, I don't know. Let us know how you feel about new edition dubs in the comments on YouTube or wherever you listen to the, to the show at. But the final thing we have for news this week is Netflix announced on Friday that it will stream the third and final part of the anime series JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean 
on December 1st. Wait. Everybody told me that if I want to, everybody who listened to our last episode who knows where Into JoJo's not told me I need to read Stone Ocean. How is how is Stone Ocean still going up in the anime, but it's still going in the manga? No, uh, no it's Stone Ocean is uh, finishing the manga. It's, They're just it's, releasing it slowly through Viz. Probably so. Yeah, cause I think because I'm about to say every time yeah, I look no, on Viz, there's been, a new chapter. Yeah, no, no, fun. yeah, no. They they're they're re-releasing it on Viz, but yeah, no, it's out there on like JoJo. They're on JoJillion. They're on like JoJo Part Ten. <laughs> like, oh, you know what? They just started releasing that. Yeah, JoJo. Jo, no, on, look, chap, it's like Chapter Forty Five, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, you know what? They're just slow rolling. Yeah, they, so they re-releasing it. Yeah, Ooh. but no, they they are they're on JoJillion. They got like ten JoJos, but. For all you Stone Ocean fans, December 1st, it'll be over. Everybody said Netflix fumbled the bag with this. And, you know, I hate how they released it. They probably did fumble the bag. But I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to read Stone Ocean. sounds crazy to me. but I'm going to read Stone Ocean. I'm not watching it. Because that everybody told me I need to watch it. No, I'm watching that shit. No, everybody told me I need to read it. They I'm said it's, that shit. They said it's better read. They lying. I don't know. I'm going to try. I started Stone Ocean and it looks amazing. They had to have butchered it. Because uh, JoJo is known for its great anime quality, right? Said, is Netflix said, just butchered it? Netflix kind of screwing up. Damn, why would you That's give that shit to Netflix? Because oh. they bought it. They can't money. Money talks. Bullshit walks. Money need to talk on that fucking production. <laughs> fucking, I don't know. But I, I will definitely be reading it. And whenever, Stone o- whenever we finish, we'll talk Stone Ocean and Part 5. But that's all the news we have for this week. Let's jump into the reviews. Chris, tell the people about some of the things that you watch that we not... That, um, you know, like the Gundam thing, some of the things you want to talk about. All right, so I'm just going to read the description for them and let y'all kind of run with what y'all run with. So they got one called Human Bug, Human Bug Die Gaku, or the Human Crazy University. Okay. And it's about a guy, Satake Hirofumi, is a prisoner on death row for murdering his fiance. Also, he's an undead man who has survived many desperate situations. For this, he has earned the interest of a research institution called the Human Crazy University, which studies real life miraculous phenomena and people who become entangled in them. Now a subject of their research, he relates to them his memories of his immortal yet unhappy life. Did Why did he kill his fiance? Soon enough, the truth sheds light on a much bigger conspiracy. So this is labeled as comedy, which don't, it doesn't so sound like a comedy. comedy at all. It doesn't yeah. sound like a comedy, but it takes a wild premise and it makes it funny. It's like The Office, yeah. Uh, parts of red kind of dry humor to where it's like satirical almost at part at parts, but it's a, it has like a weird art style, like a okay. Family Guy kind of art style, but Japanese, and it it kind of reminds me of the the art style. A lot of people hate it with the uh, way of the, the house. Yeah, it's not my vibe. And, but it was it was it's similar to that, but a little bit more fluid. Okay, it's more fluid than that, but it's more so like a Family Guy animation. It's versus, more of a comedy, than, yeah. But that shit is hilarious this season. So okay. if y'all like that shit, I'm just throwing it out there to see. It's a it's like a, 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 just a, a little sneaker. extra, yeah. Just like something that you something that you watching on the side. And look, I got a side real quick for him. Shinobi, watch. I'm gonna tell him what it's called. It's called Shinobi. Sh- Shinobi no Itiko. Uh, it, uh, it go. I watched the first episode. I'm into ninjas. Basically, this is what it's about. I'll give you the premise. I, I, I enjoyed the first episode. In a modern day Japan, after an attempt is made to kill him, Itoki Sara, uh, Sakuruba learns that he's the direct descendant and rightful heir of the Iga Ninja Clan. His mother sends him to Ninjitsu Gakun, the national ninja school in Japan, to study and train as a ninja while investigations are being made to discover who is trying to kill him and why. At school, Itiko becomes involved with his new classmates, which includes a beautiful yet deadly young ninja girls, but danger is always present, especially when there's a suspected trailer traitor inside the school so school ninja thriller with a little sl- slice of life romance stuff in there with the ninja girl that he likes yeah i'm low-key sold like when we was uh when we was in the whip you showed me the picture of it and i was like look, damn i'm like i never seen this one yet i'm gonna have to peep this shit out you said it's on crunchy roll right it's on crunchy roll right now and then look that, and that's I'll, my bag I i'll show Shinobis. you some of the trailer just so you can see like what it's looking like like they're in school he's learning what not he, he doesn't think the school looks ninja cool. And then, but then, like as it continues, you know, you see a little bit more. That's the girl he falls in love with. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. So, and, but at, at the same time, then the trailer switches, and it's like, okay, you thought it was just this high school lovey dovey type stuff. Yeah. No, it's ninja shit. Like, look at that, like that, like like man got suits. Like it's legit. Like oh, we're training. Like no, it's it, This is legit. Like I'm into this. 
So why did daddy, why did dude look like the fucking? And then, like, look, look at these, Roger look at these daddy. fights. Like they, they, they're not like old school ninjas. They're like Ghost in the Shell, yeah, Cyber like, Ninja. I like that. It's like Naruto. If Naruto was not an old age, yeah, which is weird because I see Boruto. They got a lot of technology, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's still old fashioned. It's like an alternate world. But this that, should look like yep. some this world Shinobi. I, I am a fan, so you that, that got me curious. I'm gonna have to peep that out. I'm so at least give it the first couple episodes. That's what I'm saying. Just check it out. I like the first episode. I'll be letting y'all updating y'all as we continue. But Shinobi no Itoku. Uh, Itoki. Ito, Itoki. Shinobi no Itoki. So what you got? I got another one. I want to. I really want to talk about the 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 Gundam real quick. Just yeah, to go ahead. Some shit out there. But before I do that, I gotta say, do it yourself. I know that's a big one from this season. Uh, you remember what I was telling you about with the? It's like, uh, it's like it's, it's basically DIY the anime. Yeah. You know the premise of um, dress up darling. Yeah. It's similar to that. Okay. The way like that like uh, Gojo is passionate about. You know the, his dolls and shit, and, and you know clothes and all that. Okay. And uh, Marine is passionate about cosplay. These people, it's the, the 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 synopsis says, "Do it yourself." Follows high school girls working on DIY projects as they struggle, fall, yet don't give up, and see projects through to their end. Like the beginning, the main character like falls off of a bike or something, breaks her fucking bike, and somebody oh, pulls up out of nowhere. Is like, ah, wait, fix her bike real quick. And she sees her later. It's like, hey, you fixed my bike. What the fuck was up with that? And she's like, I fix shit. It's what I do. It's my okay. favorite shit to do. And like, she kind of, they get involved in like, just, it's like, you know, you ever watch Home Improvement with Tim Allen? Yeah. This is, <laughs> I don't know if Moe's the word. I don't know, but it's like a, it's like a high school girl kind of drama. It looks very beautiful, but that's, I watched the first episode and it was cool. I don't know if I could do a full season of it though. Like just okay. DIY, DIY. The anime, I gotta throw it out there because it really does look beautiful. The first episode was solid. I feel like the cinematography was really good, but it just with, the way my attention span works. Couldn't it's, rock with it. I don't know how many, unless I'm really building shit, like okay. for real. Because these motherfuckers, they doing like it seems very educational. Okay. It seems like they're really building shit, really showing you the yeah. engine. Like after watching that shit, make make me want to fucking <laughs> take my PS4 apart and see if I can put it back together. I, I don't do it. Shit. Don't do it. So I, I think I'm a, I think I might sit this one out for the season, but I gotta give it an honorable mention because it was okay. kind of cool. Now what you got about the Gundam? Because I, I didn't get a chance to watch that one. Gundam was cool. I really do like the Gundam fights in it. I really do like the main Gundam. Uh, I forget the name of it. But it's it's beautiful. The fighting, like the the way that that Gundam be getting like throwing the paws, mm-hmm. is hard as shit. The animation, beautiful. It gives me like an Astro Lost in Space kind of vibe. You feel me? It gives is me the like Gundam a, named the Witch? No, I'm okay. pretty sure that's the main character. If I'm not mistaken, the Gundam's name is the Witch. Okay, there is a witch present. Like though, it's like some shit that calls somebody <laughs> the Witch. But I remember like uh, the first episode was really good. Okay, it was just about like. This badass girl main character who's coming into this new school, this new area of space, new mm-hmm. planet. I don't know what it was, but she was just touching down and she pilots this big ass fire Gundam. And in this school, it's like some jock shit. Everybody has a Gundam. They oh, do, like, Gundam, Gundam Aerial? Fights, Gundam duels. Yeah, I think it is Aerial. The Gundam Aerial? Yeah. It looks so badass, bro. Like the Aerial, it looks, it, it just looks hard. And then when I saw it in action, I was like, oh yeah, this is why I watch Gundam for the squabbling. You feel me? Like okay. I know Gundam Wing was full of politics and they had squabbles too. But I like seeing more of the squabbling than the politics. You feel me? I got gotcha. you. Yeah, no, these Gundams look pretty cool. And I like this. Hard. I like the skinny like chest that it has. Like I, yeah, I like, it skinny. looks like it looks hard. Like yeah. the design is. Crazy. I'm a fan of this. Okay, I'm gonna When you see it fighting, you see it fighting other other Gundams. Like I'm not gonna spoil the whole series, but there's basically a a, a dipshit guy in there. <laughs> and he's like a, a piece of shit character. Uh, and there's a, a girl character who's like entangled with him in a way that she doesn't want to be. It's like a, a parental Ooh. setup, kind of like you know how in Japan they're like, or in certain countries they're like, yeah, you're gonna marry him, and yeah. she doesn't like him, and he's a douchebag about it. He's like, you gonna be my wife anyway? They Game shut the fuck up, stay in a wife's place. Oh, type shit. he on his he on his Ramsey Bolton Bro. from Game of Thrones, Andrew Tate type. Yes, shit. I heard him say some shit. I'm like, wow. I'm uh-huh. like, this dude is. Down bad. He's like, an incel. I like somebody punched this dude, and she's just sitting there, kind of taking it. She don't like it, but she's talking shit back to him. She got an attitude. She's the she's the, like she's reacting to it the way you would. Mm-hmm. But the main character's like, "Fuck that! I'm not about to take for this shit." And she's yeah. a new person in the school. Stands Fire. up against this dude. And he's okay. like, he's like, "Bitch, you know who you playing with? I, I'm like the coldest Gundam nigga in here. We all got Gundams. Like he's like the, the football jock. He's like I'm the captain of the Gundam. I'm like I really do this. I'm top rank. Nobody has beat me yet. And she's like, "Let's go." And everybody's like, "Hey, chill out." 
smoke. You don't want to smoke with him? Slow your roll. He's, he's that guy. Slow your roll. And she, you know. And she like, nah, she I got she this. does. It's a great fight. It's a great, the girl who's getting bullied kind of, it's, 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 it's a great story the okay. way that they entangle everything together because it doesn't happen the way you think it's going to happen. Okay. Even with me describing it like that. But I'm really excited for the rest of the season. I'm just shocked that that Gundam, we're traditionally used to seeing like G Gundam with um, Daimon, I forget his name. And then we see, you know, Hito and Zero yeah. from Gonna Win. And now we're getting like high school girl. You've never seen high school which I think is, Gundam. Which I think is great. Like, we've never had a female uh, protagonist in the Gundam that's, world. That's so, big yeah, you need that. So, dope. All right, cool. Well, let's get into the main shows. Let's start with Bleach because to me, this was the one that was the weakest. Sorry, Bleach fans. I know <laughs> I know some of y'all are like, Lynn, how are you saying this? This is what we about to make the fans go crazy. But the rest that's episode. why. When we review it next week, Jazz will be on. Jazz is a big Bleach fan. Jazz said he loved it the first episode. He said he was felt he was glad to be back in the world. And he was glad that Chad had something to do in the episode. But to me, it just was like, okay, Bleach is back. Cool. It didn't do anything special for me. Like, until we get to Yaw uh, ya Watch and... Uh, not not Yaw Watch. Yuha Baha and, like, all this shit with the Stern Runners. That's what I would be into. But seeing Ichigo pull out his Bankai and attack that hollow... That was cool, but people said in the show, in the in the manga, he doesn't use a bankai, so that was a, a way of them showing how Kubo's gonna expand certain things. Like for example, giving Chad more to do. So maybe for people who hated the ending, it'll be expanded. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. For the first episode, this was cool. It was cool. That's what I'm saying. It was when I say it's the weakest of the things we're gonna talk about. That doesn't mean that it's bad. It just was. It was all right. I definitely liked it. I think I think this is uh, it's not my it's not my weakest episode for the uh for the for the first time oh, of the yeah. season, but it's definitely you know it's not my number one or my number two. But people on the timeline, especially Bleach fans, I'm so happy for y'all. I'm you know, happy. I'm back. Exactly. I'm happy Bleach is back, and I'm not a hater on the timeline. I've been seeing a lot of back and forth between who's number one on the timeline. Like I didn't say my, I didn't tweet my opinion of that. Like I thought it was mid. I just I saved it for the pod. And I, don't, I, I really like. I really enjoyed this. And mid, episode. And mid is a bad. Like you say, it's cool. It was a great. It was a great comeback episode. You get to see the whole cast again. Mm-hmm. The beginning of it was action packed. I loved it. Chad fucking one v one. Like he like fucking destroys a fucking yep. building, kills a bunch of civilians. Billions. Hilarious shit. That's some Dragon Ball S <laughs> city destruction also, type shit. You know what I realized in Bleach when I was watching Ichigo fly? I don't like that they fly. I don't like the way that they fly. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I don't, I, don't like the, I, don't, I don't like the fact that there's like they're, they're doing some shit, and then like it's it's always some shit to where like some shit happens and then they they pan to the screen and they're already in the air. I'm like, no, how did you get there? Like that's weird. So no, I don't, I don't like it. And, and I think this episode really confirmed that I don't like how they. In fly. Dragon Ball, they accentuated how they flew, and even when they and were like, just you know, hovering, it just don't make sense that they fly in sword fight. It's like, not even like, like they're flying; it's like they're just standing in the air. Yeah, pretty much. They just walk wherever they want. But you know, I'm, I'm, we, we can't get too <laughs> <laughs> we can't get too deep into that because Bleach niggas gonna kick our ass for this one. Like Bleach fans are gonna really fuck us up for that one. But at the same time, I really did enjoy the fight, mm-hmm. like the, especially the fight on the roof with the um with all those hollow that shit was, was off me, right? But then when you get into the actual story part, I love seeing the little slice of life when they're all kicking it in the room before Homeboy pulls up. Mm-hmm. I love seeing how Homeboy pulls up and he's got like an attitude, and it's just so funny and it's just so bleached because like Orihime was eating the fucking shit out of that. Food, what was it like a biscuit type? Yeah, shit? it was like a little was, type of donut type thing. It, it was adorable, and then they had like the the meme content is going crazy mm-hmm. with this because they posted the clip of her on one side of the room when son entered the room, and then some they, a, 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 a frame switched, and all of a sudden she wasn't on this side of the room; she was on this side of the room. They're like, she's now the fastest mm-hmm. character in Bleach. <laughs> it, it's just funny shit, bro. It's like it's been a lot, of, and it's high quality. Like, it was, it shit, looked great, but it's beautiful compared to, to me, what old Bleach used to look like. Even though it looked good for a time. To me, my thing, if you're doing a returning season, I think My Hero did return a season better. But man, My Hero's returning in like a year and a half. Like, Bleach, <laughs> Bleach has been like 30 years. The That's old, fair. Like, That's the fair. old style of Bleach, I think they were still doing like box. They, uh, they were the even full, they full screen. screen. Nah, the full bringer was full screen. Okay. Yeah, but, but but to my point, like, cool episode. I, I, I'm just ready to get into the meat and potatoes. And see, that's why I want to tell Bleach fans to slow down, because they were like, best first episode. Or it anything. was not. Like, okay, first of all, we're getting <laughs> we're getting Spy Family come back with a great comeback episode. We're getting My Hero come back with a great comeback episode. Chainsaw Man has its first episode ever. Bleach, this is a solid comeback episode. Let's just not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, it was cool. Y'all about, and I said the same thing about, we're going to talk about Mob Psycho in a second, too. Mm-hmm. But I said the same thing about Mob Psycho. We're going to see those two anime stride mid-season. Yeah. Like mid season when the when the story starts to build up and we start seeing the peak of the arc, that's when we're gonna start but seeing even, But even Mob Psycho episode two, I thought was just 
Yeah, yeah one wasn't my favorite, but two, two was just kids. And, and, and I love two. That's that's the beauty of my cycle. But all right, Bleach solid. We'll talk more about it next week. Uh, yeah, of course. Spy Family. Let's talk next week because I didn't watch it. Okay, you didn't watch Spy yeah, Family. I gotta, I gotta watch. Okay, it. it was good though. I'll okay. say it's very. Good. It was good. Okay, solid. it's a great company. It deserves to be up there with everything else. Okay, let's talk my hero. Okay. <laughs> I loved it, Chris. Look, I told you this season is about to be nuts. And this season is going to be nuts. The way that they showed Mirko in both episode one and two, mm-hmm. how like they they got her involved in everything. Bro, Mirko's a badass. Yeah, like they crazy. really portrayed that perfectly. The way she was kicking heads off. And like they, because this arc is so gory and really everything from this point onward is intense. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I love that they didn't hold back. Like it was really two, at war. When me, when uh, when her arm is just hanging off, dangling, mm-hmm. they show that, and I thought that was bad ass. Yeah, that, that shit was definitely crazy. I didn't expect it to get taken that far, especially that fast. Like mm-hmm. we're on episode two, and I, t- I told you, like once once we once this arc starts, it's n- n- nonstop from this point on. But see, I will say she carried the first two episodes. Oh, for sure. Episode one, everything's getting started. We're getting the rumbling. We see a lot of shit with the doctor. We see a lot of shit going on. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't really get crazy until she pull up, start wrecking shop, and yeah. then they start and kicking back. And then things like this. Yeah, because they, they basically were setting up that they were doing the invasion yeah. in episode one. And then episode one, it starts. But then two is when the invasion really starts. And we see Endeavor really just burning shit to a pulp yeah. on him. We see how strong Eraser is, like with his quirk, like stopping the no moves. But it's really. See, that was interesting. But she stole the she, show. Oh, with her that flips was, that was and all her kicks and everything. The delivery. It was badass how she was the one who found the doctor. Also, I love the scene with present Mike in uh, Eraser talking to to the doctor saying, what did you do to Shirakumo, our friend? I don't know if you remember from season five, the blue haired guy. That's that was Kirigiri. They mm-hmm. turned their friend into Kirigiri. Yeah. So that's why they were so pissed. That's why it was such a big moment seeing present Mike in Eraser had so upset at the doctor. Okay, I feel that now. Oh yeah, yeah, because yep. the backstory. And shit. Yep, yep, I yep. forgot about that guy from the backstory. Mm-hmm. But okay, that makes sense. That makes it a little bit more impactful to me because when I first watched it, I was like, "Yeah, I'm seeing a racer head and fucking." Mm-hmm. Because I'm not used to seeing them interact like that, but it makes more sense after the flashback. I'm about to go back and we, you before, gotta, we, before we do it, we, before we go back next episode. Next, well, yeah, we got two weeks before we do my hero. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna read the manga before. That's what you because there's a lot of stuff. Not past where we at. There's there's a lot of stuff that was just so impactful about like that's why those two episodes are so good because of everything that led up to this like yeah. all the no moves that we saw like that the doctor was, crazy was talking too, about man. like how because all for one is in jail i can't make them as fast and because endeavor destroyed that one that you and hawks fought i can't make high ends like that so fucking we just gonna go with all these half-ass no moves that's why miracles just running through but, it's, a, it's, not, still fucking no but it's still no that's the thing that's the crazy thing and we're about to see and a bunch yeah, of these them. heroes are strong, but All For One has been planning for this forever. Like, Crust, Crust looks so outmatched <laughs> with his shield. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Crust. You know what's crazy also to see? Them try to give Kaminara a spotlight. Like, yes, get this shit out of the way so we can we gotta focus on him and, later and, on in the season. And exactly. They're getting all the little side niggas out of the way, but... They give him some shot. That moment was hard. I, In I my was house, proud of it. when he did that, I screamed, "Yeah, Kaminari!" And Sheila looked at me. She was like, "Why are you screaming right now?" I'm not gonna lie. I goofed on him a little bit. I, I goofed on him a little bit. I was watching it with my girl, and she didn't understand the context. And she don't watch my heroes. She was just watching it. But I'm like, man, this nigga, he got this nigga. He cool or whatever. I'm like, let him get a shot because this nigga not about to get no, no shot. No, no, no. So, but I like that. I like the fact that they letting the side character shine, but at the same time, you letting. Miracle. No, but it's, it's not. Shine, but see, that's without what, forgetting about Nick. That's what is a impo- That's what is so great about this now. Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki are the only real class members who matter in terms of hanging with the big dogs because yeah. we are with real heroes now because we're fighting the League of Villains. Like, I get it. Freaking forearms with the eyes. Good classmate for recon, but yeah. nigga, we're That's fighting all for war. one right now. <laughs> like, yeah. like, you better be in the back. Like, you saw where most of the students were. They were in the back. If you're not Deku, Bakugo, or Todoroki, y'all are fire. Exactly. Y'all are there for reinforcement. Exactly. You know so, what I'm saying? But, but I'm excited to see where it goes. Y'all are, the, y'all are the numbers, which is crazy. They got a lot of quirks out there, but like, 
Yeah, it was crazy to see Miracle take down all the no moves. That mm-hmm. shit was really, she was like decapitating niggas with her legs. And then, and it's, you see, right now, you haven't seen the Liberation Army bounce back and be like, okay, they attacking, now we gotta attack. That's gonna be the next episode of like, okay, they did their first strike, the doctor's gonna start sending out re- messages like, hey, they're attacking, we gotta go. Yeah, that shit's Because it was badass when that hero pulled up on the other one and was like, Oh yeah, nigga, we know you've been lying. Yeah. The doctor, his face was like, no. That shit is insane. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If, it, if it's only up for here, I'm excited. But for that's that's all it is. Here. That's literally we are full on war arc, and I'm excited because we get to discuss this in the context of other war arcs. And I'm gonna be honest, my hero's war arc is up there. It's up. There. I thought you might say something egregious. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying it yet. I'm gonna wait till the season over. But yeah, we gonna see. It's better. Than, see it's better this. than something that starts with an M. That's all I'm gonna say. We gonna see about this. <laughs> we gonna see about this shit. <laughs> Anything else you gotta say about my hero? Uh, I really enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. The season five slander you. ends here, I and told now you. it's just. They gotta deliver because it's dead. Like they got a lot of shit to follow that. Like because this you is gotta the see beginning what, of the you season, get to see, bro. Because we still gotta wait for Sugar Rocky to. Yeah, can I say this is the beginning of the season? Exactly. If, if we see crazier shit, like I'm here oh, no, for it. We I'm are see, like especially my boy Todoroki's in the mix. My boy Bakugo is in the mix. Todoroki, I don't really fuck about Todoroki. Todoroki's about, about, about to have a big arc with Dobby. Like it's about to go down. Okay, I'm excited for that. Like, I need that. Like the League of Villains. I, the fact that we're at war with the League of Villains exactly. is what kind of, like, I love the League of Villains pre arc. You're about villain. to get a big twice arc, a big Dobby Another arc, one? And a big Totoro Twice, twice is and, getting more shots. And a big uh Shigaraki. This is those I three. twice too. Like he he pulled up for the first episode, I wanna say, and he was I, I fucked with mm-hmm. seeing his camera like, yes, my boy's at it, but he's still there. We we working. Exactly. I'm, so. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what Horikoshi has been cooking because I've heard a lot of good shit about the manga for the past like three, four years. I just haven't seen that with season four and five. Not to shit on four because four was amazing. Four was great. That was four the overhaul was season. I love the overhaul shit, but uh, I feel like five, I'm waiting they for... Just, five, I feel like the reason why I overhyped five and they didn't execute to what manga they, fans thought five was going to be. They were supposed to have they supposed to. League of Villains it's season. Opening, yeah, exactly. League of Villains, everything. It should have been focused, my villain academia. They focused more on the end of her training arc than my villain academia, which I think was a mistake. They should have broke season five into two halves and been like, okay, here's you know, season five of My Hero Academia, and here's season five point five villain, my villain. Academia. And here's season one of my yeah, my Hero Academia. Whatever, just, whatever. just pretend like for the for the sake of good marketing, take over the streets, put and all they, the fucking like. Focused, when did Demon Slayer do a movie, bro? They have the subway decked out. See, that's the thing. They was focused too much on that movie that came out, and Maybe. then the season, and that, and this year, no movie, and you can see it yeah. in the season. They, so. they actually, you, 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 you they know the, they put their quality, exactly. they first put forward. So, all right, let's get to Blue Lock. Blue Lock? I Amazing. loved it. I loved it. I'm, I, I told you. I told you last episode. I'm like, you gonna fuck with favorite, this one. Favorite episode I watched of all of them. You you think so? Blue Lock's number one. I knew you was gonna fuck with that one. I remember last number episode one. I was trying to sell you on it. I was like, it's shown in Number one. It is Haikyuu, but with battle shown. It's like Haikyuu and all those sports anime. Like, I'm like, let's be a team. This is like, nah, I'm gonna be a goat, nigga. Yeah. I'm gonna be Goku, nigga, and that's it. I'm Saitama, nigga. I'm gonna be nigga. the best striker. When that dude, the last, it, what sold me on it was all the talking, but then when he, his eyes goes blue, and that, and that dude was like, nah, fuck this. I'm not going after 300. I'm going after the number one. And that other dude was like, I like it. And he sets him up, gives him that bicycle kick, and he hits it at that dude. It, it puts you in the zone like some shit's happening. It makes you feel like the Demon Slayer flames that's not it, real. It, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah, no, for sure. Because them things This not is the real. context I want to <laughs> see that in. Like, give me that kind of animation because, like, it's going to look good. We're going to know that's not really happening, but it's going to sell me on the fineness of the soccer match. It looked great. I'm all in on Isagi. Isagi's a good character. Shout out to motherfucking people across the, uh, across the fucking globe that call soccer football. I <laughs> yeah. fuck with football. I fuck with calling it football. But at the same time, they call this shit soccer and anime. I'm listening yep. to them like soccer. I'm like, mm-hmm. I love All right. it. I'm like, okay, Japan, do y'all mix it up? Do y'all and say both? I love the, the the suits they wear, the little gadget suits. And that dude with, I the, love it. with the orange hair who kicked that ball so hard. He's a fucking psychopath. I'm I love it. it. I'm he was just trying to get in the mix. That's what I like about that shit. He, he has a strong potential of being number one because mm-hmm. he's just in the mix. And I hope to see more characters come out because they got out oh, they of got a lot of the, Bro, just from just from the cover art, we only saw the yellow-haired dude and the orange dude. And them yeah. two dudes was badass, but they got more. 
and I'm interested and, in and this. I read the whole first volume of the manga. See, I didn't read nothing. I don't know what's this, coming. I didn't read anything else. Like, I, I, I wanted to buy, like, volume two is out. Okay. But I only read the full volume one, and that covered about everything in this. Okay. But it's so well drawn and well executed. There's no way this is going to be as if they adapt it right. Real. And, and from watching episode one, I'm like, I'm glad I didn't read further. Ooh, I'm looking at a picture of him with his eye. Okay, this looks crazy. Like, the manga art looks nuts. That's what I'm saying. Like, what, what I'm saying is the, the first volume, I could tell where it was going. So I'm like, let me see. what the if, if the anime does it right, there's no need for me to read the manga yeah. because the manga already is... Co- like, the reason why they say Dragon Ball is such a great anime is because Toriyama, his fight choreography when he draws... It makes it easy for the animators to not have it looking mm-hmm. stupid. It's very easy. And that's the same thing with all the best Naruto fights. Like the way that they're drawn makes it easy for the animators. Like, okay, all we gotta do is make it slide like this. The hard work was already done. Yep. A lot of the like chainsaw man fights is just gory. You see, they didn't really not saying he's a bad artist by any means necessary, but his art conveys the shit as it happens, but it doesn't convey the actions as good as like a Dragon Ball Z fight scene. Like the fight choreography and where they shine, but in this, it's given that top tier shonen fight battle, like battle shonen fight choreography, but with sports. And I feel like we need that. And I love just for the fact that they're they're paying attention to soccer now. Like when they said that the best soccer player in their world, Noel now won the Ballon d'Or over Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel mm-hmm. Messi. I was like, oh. Okay, so like and this isn't bullshit soccer. Like they, they're see because my thing with Kuroko no basket is they never reference NBA players. Like who inspired them? Slam dunk, they kind of do. He, they kind of talk yeah. about Mike, Michael Jordan and like and Kobe Bryant and like that's they, who was hot back then. Exactly. The day. This the when I the fact that they acknowledge Cristiano and Messi is awesome because like it that. shows that like okay. They know what they're talking about. And then that the, gave that gave just that one line gave this show so much clout for me because it shows that with Haikyuu and Kuroko Kono Basket, it's their world and how they view basketball. This is how Japan views soccer, but how they want soccer to affect the world almost. Like I, yeah. I rock with that. I, I really enjoy that too. I, I feel like people who fuck with soccer are going to love this for that mm-hmm. and people who don't fuck with soccer are going to might maybe want to get into soccer, get into soccer and yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm glad you brought up the dialogue about him mentioning real people because in the context of the show the crazy guy who's doing the blue lock mm-hmm. he's like do y'all realize that y'all are on a pussy high school soccer yeah. team He's like, no, Japan is garbage at soccer. Yeah, he was like, we're horrible. I don't know if in the real world, no, they are. Riano, I don't know if all these co- people from other countries are shitting on Japan and Japan's like, didn't have anybody in the yeah, top they are. It's like, it's literally like, for soccer, Japan and America suck. Like, imagine, <laughs> imagine the dude writing this being a wanting, passionate soccer fan and wanting uh, wanting Japan to be great, and it's I'm like okay, these niggas up. We're gonna do this training, a la shonen style, to get them to be able to beat and these champs. In the manga, he's like, we're gonna bring Japan back with a crazy soccer player to make you the best striker. Imagine the manga does that in real life. Yeah. Imagine in the next ten years, we, we get, get a crazy soccer Japanese player. Soccer you see player. an interview, and he's like, yeah. By the way, Blue I started this shit because yeah, Blue Lock made me really want to. I can imagine a nigga who's already in high school playing soccer and be like, nah, now nah, I'm going crazy. That's possible. That's very possible. That's, that's beautiful, bro. Yeah, and that's why that's that's one of the main reasons why it really pulled me in because, like I said, where Kuroko no, where Kuroko no basket and Haikyuu fail is they don't acknowledge the world around them. And granted, for Haikyuu, I don't know how you would do that for volleyball. I don't really know about the sport outside of what I know ladies do in college and me and like the Olympics. I don't necessarily know about men's volleyball, but with this, I know about soccer and like. I feel like this is just the start. Like we could maybe see Noel no play Cristiano Ronaldo. Like the fact that they can use the word belong the or and all this stuff, that tells me we might get some of that. So and he sure. plays for France. And wait, they got they they have I'm looking at it right now. I'm I'm gonna get out of this. But he plays for a team called Bastard Munich for Germany and the th- the team, the real world team name is Bayern Munich. So, oh, so they, they just changed it's the reference and shit. So you gonna, can tell this dude's a yeah, soccer fan. Exactly. He's not just bullshitting. So let me get out of this. I don't want to know no more about Blue Lock, but it's amazing. If you if you 
watch episode one. Come along for us for the ride reviewing this because we will be reviewing this. For sure, for sure. It's I'm very gonna... beautiful. It's like this is going to be peak battle showing in sports. All right. <laughs> do your vibe. Take us over. Chainsaw Man. You've been waiting. I was, also, I was also about to say, I don't know much about soccer, but if you want to ask me about volleyball, <laughs> I know for, I know what I know from Howard Connor. No, stop it. You stop it. You know what I'm saying? The, the real GOAT volleyball. No, Herb Collin Receive is the best volleyball anime. I gotta throw it out there. You know what I'm saying? Very wholesome. Very wholesome and cute. Some sweet shit. Hit <laughs> you with the, you with the, the Remy Ma. <laughs> man, let me tell you something, man. But all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, Chainsaw Man? Yes? You, were you satisfied? Man. I was very satisfied. I love Chainsaw Man. I thought it was a great first episode. I, I, I definitely understand a lot of criticism about it, but... For uh, anime only, this was a cool first episode. Exactly. For a manga fan, this was everything you could possibly imagine. Because for somebody who read the entirety of Chainsaw Man Part 1 and I'm caught up with Part 2, seeing the opening hit a, a hit a nerve. I don't know if you saw online, but did you see the uh, the video of the frame for frame references he did to other oh, movies yeah, yeah, like yeah. Pulp Fiction? He, he referenced like 20 different movies in that opening. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's necessarily him doing it. I don't know if he's overseeing it. No, I, it I feel like that's the anime staff. And there was like, definitely a call to like, hey, we really fuck with Fujimoto. Mm -hmm. We know we understand film the way he understands film. Cause that's a that's a big thing. He's like, I'm a big, I'm a film nerd. Yeah. So as that goes, the 2D Oh, it was amazing. The CD, the CG, I will say, was spotty at points. It wasn't perfect. Yeah, you know, and I hopefully I don't think it gets CG, better as we go on. I, I don't think CG will ever be perfect, but Demon Slayer and JJK are the closest things we're probably gonna get. Mm -hmm. uh, Doro, it was like uh, a step under Doro Hidero. Yeah, it was. It was like a step under Doro Hidero. And that's the thing; it's Mappa, so mm -hmm. I'm expecting Doro Hidero. So it's like I hope they for the for the major parts of the season. That's what I'm thinking. Saving the money yeah. for the. Cause certain parts of the world, he we gotta see. We gotta see um, our, our man Denji fight like some real, some real devils. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. The actual animation, like when those zombies start flying at him, and he's like slicing them as they mm -hmm. fly at him, and there's like a part where it's like silent and it's slow motion, and you just hear the. the it was an impressive sound design as how they used the chainsaw. I'm sitting there. As I read the manga before I even got a trailer, I was always like, how are they going to put that in the anime? Like, mm -hmm. is this nigga just going to be <laughs> the whole time? It's going to be annoying. It wasn't overpowered. It worked. I, it definitely worked. Yeah. And just the whole, the the one thing that was kind of iffy with me and my girl said something about it too, was the the whole de-transformation oh, at yeah. the end of the episode when the, tra <laughs> when the Chainsaw Man shit slid off of me. It was like, okay. It looked a little weird. I was like, all right. I mean, that's going to take some getting used to. Yeah, thank, God, sure. thank God you don't spend most of the anime doing that because then I'd have to be like, eh. But, you know, I, I was like, it's a cool way for it to happen because it, it is a, it is random for you to just have all that shit on your face. But the way the chainsaw comes out of your face all yeah, violently, I expect it to go back in all violently. violently. Yeah, no, for sure. But, but I, I the, the first like episode, that. I loved the wholesomeness with Pochita. It made me fall back in love with Pochita. Very, so, very wholesome, very cute. The whole backstory with Denji was hard. Yeah. The whole way yeah, they did the, well. the the whole way they did the story was just beautiful. The whole goon looking crazy, mm -hmm. dead in the mm -hmm. eye for getting I'm, I'm ready to get into Anki and, mm -hmm. and Makima. And we met Makima. Yeah, we did. And mm -hmm. Makima is an important key player to this anime. I love the, the dialogue. I love how they, how they I don't want to say they did her Muzan E, but they showed like She's ominous, bro. Yeah, She's very like, like if you if you haven't read the manga, if I'm watching the first episode, I'm like, damn, what's wrong with her? Why is she? What's this shady music? Like yeah, because right it's very weird. Because she <laughs> seems like a good guy, but you can tell she's not all the way good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think because I've, I've watched the anime very recently with something similar to that, like a, a manipulative character that's okay. like a good guy, but not a good guy. Mm. But like, she's like an infiltrating kind of character. Like they she pull, reminds they me pull of, the wool over your eyes. She reminds me of Eisen before Eisen starts being weird. Kinda, you yeah. tell something up with Something him. up, yeah, no, I, that's, a, that's a good call. And, and, I, and I like how they did that with Maki, man. I feel like the whole season, they're gonna be playing the trope of like, is she good? Is she bad? And she's a great character. Like, like she's so she's so good right now, and mm -hmm. especially the next few episodes. Do you but think I we finish like, in part one in season no, one? No, no, yeah, not I even did. close. Awesome. But I feel like the first, the next episode, we're gonna get more characters, and we're gonna just see. Are we getting Anki and Power in the next episode? Pretty sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure. But, I don't are we, remember. Are we, are we gonna get Power? We might get Power to episode. Three. No, we're probably gonna get. Aki for sure. Yeah, we definitely get Aki for sure. But all these characters are, are, are just as elusive. Yeah. I was watching a guy on YouTube talk about how it's very uh, ominous and it's very claustrophobic and it's very like it makes you feel anxious. And I mm -hmm. like that feeling because you need that 
that that's how, that's how I felt around Majima for sure. And I definitely, it feels like a horror anime more than anything. Yeah, I like that. I like how they captured the horror and they made you know the first the first devil they fucked with wasn't super intimidating, but you they're know, gonna get some crazy devils soon. It's gonna it's gonna be wild. Soon. So, but I'm glad you liked it. I, I liked say, it. They teased the devil in the opening. A crazy and I, I wasn't paying attention to the opening like Bro, about the it. opening teased some shit that we're not gonna get in season one a hundred percent sure. The main, the main, 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 the the main antagonist? Mm, uh one of them. The the the, the, the main devil? The one guy? Okay. Cause there's a couple that pop up. I, I don't I wanna say it the might be the main one. It might be him. It might okay. be the main one. But they showed some shit and they it was like dancing. I was like, what the fuck what is going doing? on? <laughs> but you know, they had to add the little flair. I'm not, I'm not gonna say ten out of ten episodes, but it we're gonna good. see that. We're gonna see that eventually. But it was, a, it was it was definitely my favorite next to Blue Lock. Okay, it might be that high with Blue because I watched the I watched the manga from. Uh, I, I put Blue it. Lock. I put it. Chainsaw Man. I'm putting fourth. Do we have any other ones to cover this week? We just because got Mob Psycho. We can rank them right now. Oh, we can rank them after Mob Psycho. But I, I got I got I got it fourth because I go Blue Lock one, My Hero two. It's really tied tied with my cycle for the three. Really, if I'm being honest, and Bleach is last. See me, I put I'm I'm backwards. I put Chainsaw Man one, Bleach two, then my hero, then well no, I don't want to put my hero fourth. But Spy Family had a great first episode. I put that, but that, you didn't watch that. So we're not going to include that one in this top. I'm just thinking the top from this whole season in general. Like I feel like, cause Bleach is number two for sure. You My hero Bleach is up there two? too. Bleach, it was it was good. It was a good comeback. I can't put Bleach over Blue Lock or uh, it was a good comeback or, or My Hero. No sir, it gave me it gave me. But that, that's the so, see. Okay, no, 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 it's, no, it's no, like a, no. It's like a Dragon no. Ball Super no, movie, no, no, bro. No, no, like no, no. when you watch we Battle of Gods, it's the first time you've seen Dragon Ball forever. We can't so when you see Battle of Gods, just because we haven't seen it in a while, and give it a pass. But that's what I'm saying. Battle of Gods still holds up when I go back and watch it, even though when I first watched it, it was the first Dragon Ball concert I had Man, in a decade. The Bleach just, episode was cool. It's a, a, a great callback episode. A, like you ever watched a, a TV series that I haven't seen in a while? Yeah. Um, you know they they, they have a time. It didn't come back. Yeah, but I'm not going. Rank it. I'm not gonna rank it over That's a, a, special a episode. new fire show just because it came back. Well, I mean, <laughs> the thing with that is, if we're including Mob Psycho episode two, and yeah, we are. I, I am. I if am. we're including the first two, yeah, then okay. My number one is Chainsaw Man, even though it just got one episode. Then it would have to be Mob Psycho. Then it would have to be Mob uh, My Hero. Then Bleach. Oh, now see that makes sense. Well, you got Blue Lock under Bleach. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. But then that's the, all the other shit I watched, like Gundam yeah, and, gotcha. you know, Spy Family and all that shit. I, Blue Lock hit me so hard that I can't. Bleach, Bleach is at the bottom. It just has to be. But y'all let us know how you feel. Crystal goes uh, Mob, he, Crystal goes Chainsaw Man, Mob Psycho, My Hero, Bleach, Blue Lock. I go, uh, my, um, I go Blue Lock, My Hero, Mob Psycho, Chainsaw Man, Bleach. Yeah, I feel like right now, we don't have any five star, ten out of ten. No, nah, not, not yet. So Nothing not yet. We got like some, some fours. N- yeah, fours some and almost, threes. Some almost there. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying. But Mob Psycho episode one, eh? Episode two is great. Yeah, I'm just excited for what's to come. <laughs> for my, for uh, my hero, for Mob Psycho, for Chainsaw Man. Oh, I was for we, we can talk. We can talk about Mob, Psy- Mob Psycho right now. Yeah, let's get it. So episode one, cool. Episode two, I think, is where we introduce the idea of the yokai and kind of giving us a view of where we're going this season with yeah. yokai hunters and that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely excited about that because the main yokai design we see in this is just impeccable. It's a great yokai design. And it showed like, OK, if this is one of the, the lead yokai, it shows how strong Mob and Homie, the second command from Claw, who works with him now. So it's like, and he's who's, who's going to come in and battle those dudes? Because the intro to this episode, maybe not the song, but the animation makes it seem like this season's about to be nuts. Yeah, this season definitely, this is just the pregame. Yeah. Or this is just the buildup. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that we get the shaman type character in this second episode. Yeah. It's just, you could tell we're going somewhere. And the and humor, the humor was great. The yeah. humor, and also love that Mob in, episode, in season one couldn't have done anything for that club and would have been useless. And to see Mob grow to the point to where it's like, oh, I don't even need your help, Regan. I can think for myself and make this for this club. It shows how much he's grown as a person. He's, and I love he's that. He's growing. He's growing a lot. I love that. Like the first episode showed it. He's like, I'm going to work here forever, big dog. Yeah. The second <laughs> he episode, was sick, he's like, sick. 
I don't even really need you this time. Yeah, I'm gonna, get, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go do, do my own thing. If that keeps slowly unfolding throughout the season, I, I think we're gonna have a I compelling think it, I think it will for a while, and then I think something's gonna happen where he realizes he still needs Regan and his fan, like yeah, and think, his family and brothers and whatnot. That's exactly what I think is gonna happen. I think that he's gonna be he's gonna uh, get more and more independent, mm-hmm. and then get cocky, and then realize, you know what? Just because I can be I independent, can be, but still I still be rely on my homies. Yeah. You know, like I, you're a part of my independence because we, you know. But I hope that yokai uh, shaman nigga come back because he getting fleeced. <laughs> He's yeah. the lick. <laughs> yeah. Regan was like, "Oh, you come from a wealthy family? Go find me some of <laughs> yokai, boy, and bring back, bring back a million. Bring and, back a million. And if you want these services, I need a consulting fee. <laughs> but I love how Regan's still pulling the whole. I'm kind of really a boss. <laughs> These are just my guys, so and I, really I love how do. it's oh yeah, I'm the real esper. I'm yeah, the I, real I yoga dirty, with this salt, <laughs> this little salt I'll, I'll warm it up and I'll let my boys handle the rest, but I really don't like getting my hands too dirty. You know what I'm saying <laughs> I, that's why I brought my boys. That's I gotta why open I, it up with the salt. It's key. That's why episode two was so good because it brought back that just classic mob humor. It was great. I, I really loved it. Like two was. One was cool. Episode yeah, one was cool. Right. I, I enjoyed it. But episode two, I'm like, I'm ready. I'm in. Yeah. We're in the no, season now. 100%. Well, that's pretty much all I got on everything. Yeah. But great right. start. I love we'll start ranking that. it. We'll start ranking the episodes next week, starting with the Bleach, Blue Lock, Bleach episode two, Blue Lock episode two, and Spy Family. Yeah, we definitely, definitely, definitely got to catch but this Spy is Family. Just, this is just the intro getting us in. But and next, we still got, we still got that uh, uh, Rumiko Takahashi, uh, the Inuyasha lady. Oh, yeah, 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 We still got a few that haven't premiered yet. That a lot true. of them is coming towards the end of October. True, true, true. I think we got in One Piece Red next week. Yes. There's a lot of shit I we don't have. So. Oh, there's a lot of shit to look forward to. We're not even done. I think One Piece it's Red like is talent, Like another one. If it is next week, then we're going to definitely be August. No, 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 no. Not August 6th. That's. I need to know when it's coming to the U.S. November 4th. November 4th. So we got a couple of weeks. We got a couple of weeks. That's not next And then, week. you know, we got Uzaki-chan. <laughs> Uzaki-chan, you feel me? Yeah, let's go for the edgy fan. We got Golden Kamui for the motherfucking oh, no. Saini hey, fans. Hey, Golden Kamui fam- Golden fam- is hard. But Shout out to the Saini fans. Tell man. the people where they can follow you at on social media. Follow your boy at Chris at SJE everywhere. I just dropped a song last week. It is... Uh, Neko Momo It's a Don Don song If y'all fuck with me This is what I need y'all to do I don't even care If y'all follow me bro I, Unfollow me if you have to bro Read Don 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 get, get off Twitter Get off social media Go on the, the Shonen Jump It's not on the app It's on the site Read Don 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 Catch up on Chainsaw Man If you read If you're anime only Wait till the end of the season And then read And catch up with part two That's the only agendas I'm pushing right now But if you want to Peep my music which is heavily Don Don and Chainsaw Man influence. I got a Don Don song just dropped last Friday. This Friday, I got a Digimon song dropping. Nice. And then next week, the week after that, I got a song dropping with Otaku God. So okay, back on the music, I, I, I ain't dropped no shit since May, but this crazy drop month of, of anime in October got to be one of those crazy roll out. Nice. I'm going to go the whole season. And we're going to put out the vlog from, um, from the Louisiana Comic Con. That'll be out this weekend as well. So check that out. You can find me at LimbyWT. Check out uh, the One Piece review that's coming this week, the Black Clover review that's coming this week, and if you haven't checked out the latest episode of the Maga Melee podcast, check that out. But for Krista, my name is Lyndon. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you next week with Bleach, Blue Lock, and Spy Family reviews, and then we'll be back with Anime Talk proper the week after. But until then, peace!